Jean Thomas installed a home surveillance camera, which she could check while she was at work. When she saw a thief in her house, she alerted police right away. I'm watching my home on live monitor, and there's a black man in my house, and he's robbing it. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from my office, and I have a live video monitor, and I just... West City, are you calling from I'm, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. And Jean Thomas joins us from West Palm Beach. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? You're really well. So the, we should explain. So you called 911. How many 911s did you have to go through before you finally got the right police department? Well, I was in Fort Lauderdale, so I got the Fort Lauderdale police first. They yeah. then transferred me through to the Palm Beach Sheriff's Department, which then transferred me through to the city of Boynton Beach. Okay, all right. So your home had been broken into before, and you thought, you know, should I get an alarm system? Should I get a webcam? You decided on the webcam, had been watching it in a pretty consistent basis, then didn't look at it very much for a while. What made you think that day, I'm going to turn this on and take a look? All of a sudden, I had a strange feeling something was going on at the house. You know, a sixth sense was happening. I didn't know. I thought maybe my dogs were doing something that they shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, I'm going to catch them in the act of whatever they're chewing up or destroying. So I then turned it on. I hadn't looked in three months. I turned on the, went onto the website, right. logged on, yeah. turned it on, and there was a black man standing in my living room. You were rummaging freaked. Through my were you, how freaked video out games. were you? Completely. Yeah. <laughs> I was shaking. Wow. <laughs> so you see, I mean, this is a lot that you're basically, you are looking at a live picture and these guys are just wandering back and forth. Yeah. The cat I is sitting there, there looking at these at guys. First. Yeah. Yeah. Just he's in the house walking around, picking up things as if it's his home. Right. So the long story short, the cops got there in time and arrested these guys. Oh, yeah. The Boynton Beach Police Department, I would say, was there within the first three to four minutes. Right. They then had the house completely surrounded. <laughs> Evidently, according to my neighbors, they had 18 police cars. They had the SWAT team. Right. You would have thought that the Federal Reserve was <laughs> under <at> siege. <laughs> the funniest is when the burglars realized that they are surrounded by the police. Right. And they're trying to figure out how can they get out of the house. They were trapped. They were trapped, indeed. Yeah. This is not a bad investment, I think, this little webcam. Oh, no. Yeah. $250. It was, uh, it's a video surveillance system. Yeah. It doesn't require wiring or anything. You basically just plug it in. Yeah. It then goes to your, you can put the camera wherever you want to throughout yeah. the home. All right. You can add up to four cameras on the system. It works out great. Yeah, and you should probably show this video to your dog so they know that uh, you are, in fact, in charge. Well, the dogs really were terrified. <laughs> it seemed as if the cat was the main issue. He, yeah. he was the more distraught one, and I, I have an attack cat, and golden retrievers nor pugs make a very good watchdog. Apparently not. Jean Thomas, thank you for sharing your story and right. your well, amazing you. video. You bet. All right. Up.